all right so once again i'm live where we'll be discussing the changes coming up in the admat syllabus and this reminds me a lot about 2018 one of the very first videos i did on my channel was this video so this is me three years ago who it is is me playing ads on these videos by and in this video i talked about the changes coming to the math syllabus 2018. <laughs> somebody says so you look really young there all right okay that was three years ago actually gain a little weight <laughs> all right so we're gonna discuss what's going on with the additional mathematics syllabus now this is a new syllabus that has been cycling around <laughs> the cxe spice say also you look so cute there okay <laughs> now if you watch this line here it says effective from may june 2021 so this means this exam coming up here is supposed to be following this so let's discuss the new syllabus i want to go to the organization of the syllabus one time immediately something becomes apparent if you are a admas teacher you're not seeing functions here i am not seeing kinematics here and so people thinking that kinematics is out but i am here to tell you that the opposite is actually true and i'll show you um functions looks like it's out as well and that is true when i when i went through the entire syllabus no functions to be found at least no functions in the sense of inverse functions and composite functions so let's scroll going on we see conceptual knowledge al algorithmic knowledge and reasoning those are the um three profiles that cxe uses in admats those remain the same however they are investing a lot more into algorithmic knowledge what that means is equations like um the ability to manipulate mathematical expressions procedures using appropriate symbols and language logical deduction and inferences so manipulation it used to be that the total on that was like 42 uh, let's go to paper two now the total and it is actually 54 that's a sizable increase so this can tell you the style of questions will be a little different if we look at the format of the examinations in terms of time it remains the same um one hour and 30 minutes for the paper one two hours and 40 minutes for the paper two this is the old one this is the new one right uh but look at the paper one algebraic operations quadratics inequalities functions algebraic operations quadratic inequalities thirds in the C series so no functions involved here no um composite and inverse and um one to one and many to one and those things they just say we, we already do nine c sec maths so why put it in ad maths that's out okay fair that's a little tiny thing um point geometry vectors trigonometry differentiation integration um probability and statistics is here so they want to pull the whole syllabus into this you know there was no probability and statistics here the whole of probability and statistics can be tested the whole of the syllabus can be tested and that's a new shift in cxe paper one we could hit here everything we could bring the entire syllabus it used to be in paper one in admats you would not see anything on kinematics probability statistics now it's saying otherwise they plan to bring at least five items on probability and statistics so that's a guarantee that you're going to get five new questions in your out of the 45 it's 45 questions in paper one for admats all right so we'll be preparing some probability and statistics question class look out for this um those of you all who in my admats class will be definitely preparing for that and this is the massive change here um watch this is the new syllabus i'm on two questions in algebra sequences and series one question in coordinate geometry vectors and trigs which used to be two uh two questions in introductory calculus so that should that should follow that does indeed follow based on the sample the mock exams the specimen paper that is here um that does follow the differentiation one question integration one question and probability and statistics is one question so what did what do you notice here no choices all compulsory every single question here is now compulsory used to be candidates will be required to answer one question from the last section where you could either choose data representation and probability 
or kinematics, which is just statistics and probability or kinematics. That's all you know. So you may be saying, fine, statistics is gone. It's not. It's not. It's 20 marks in this question, 15 each year, 15 each year, but they make this one big fat question, this section, and then they made the probability and statistics another big sizable question. That, that's interesting. That's interesting. So that's the first big change. Although they change up the wording and numbering, it's essentially the same thing. So algebra sequences and series, the only thing that's out is really the functions. You used to start off with some kind of baby thing with functions. Um, you have your algebra, uh, your remainder theorem, factor theorem, quadratics, and then scrolling down, you see functions. And you have a range domain, many to one, one to one, plot, graph, blah, 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 blah. That fun, this section here is just out. This entire section here just gets vanquished. That's out. But other than that, everything is in. Then we're going to introductory calculus. This is where I wanted to come up to because you're going to see something interesting here. This very first point did not, didn't really used to be here like this. Use the concept of the derivative x is equal to c as the gradient of the tangent to the graph x is equal to c. Yes, this is kind of there, but you see these words? Those words were not there. Displacement time graph, velocity time graph. Where is this from? This is from kinematics. So what is happening is that they are taking kinematics and sneaking it in into differentiation. And we'll see it sneak into um, integration as well. Second derivative, tangents, real world application. Boom. This is kinematics kinematics rates of change of displacement and velocity so yes you have the rate of change and the chain rule but you're also going to get the kinematics coming into play with the rate of change so like they use this rate of change to sneak in kinematics right here uh, this velocity time graph so kinematics is not out kinematics is inside differentiation and integration now so it's not like they take all the topic it's like they take the topic and squeeze it in these they decided instead of having it separately we will structure it so that we can put it in the differentiation question and put it in the integration question because if i look at integration i'll see all the usual stuff my rules of integration some product integration of polynomials blah 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 um definite integrals and at the underneath here variable motion of a particle and that's the ending of kinematics that's where you have s v um x dot x double dot those those um first derivative second derivative distance um dvdt same thing so it's there it's there kinematics is there look look the whole of kinematics is there so i want to finish off by just going to page 93 this is a sample paper i will do this paper live i may do it in my class my premium class first but sooner or later i'll come down coming on to the exam i'll be doing this paper online on youtube if you if you want to register to the classes this is the number to my to my classes and then when we scroll down we get bang slam with a velocity time graph and we need to answer questions based on that calculate the acceleration it's in the differentiation section and if we scroll into the integrations question we see right nice we have integral this polynomial here integral of a quotient what you're going to do about this um and then wow oh, no this is era bounded under a graph but if you scroll to part c particle motion it's there and it goes for a nice four marks so that's a sample paper and on the statistics is just a whole heap of statistics and probability all right, so there's that. I promised you all that I was going to do an analysis on this. So there it is. You can always use this video for reference. Come back and check out this stuff, the important stuff. All right, people. So love and blessings. Till we meet again. For the end broadcast here, yeah,